Live from Hong Kong, welcome back. This is Newstream. Now, a chilling new study details how sea levels are rising much more than previously thought. Researchers say global sea levels could rise by more than two meters by the year 2100, mainly due to the melting of ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica. That is about double the figure estimated by the UN Climate Panel back in 2013. The authors say it is a worst case scenario, but not an impossible one. And it could wreak some serious havoc on our planet, like displacing nearly 200 million people, the loss of land three times the size of California, and destruction of critical areas of food production. Look, t two meters of sea level rise really um, is, is a pretty unthinkable sort of um, future scenario. It has the potential to displace up to something like 187 million people worldwide. Now, the Syrian refugee crisis resulted in a, mig a migration or influx of Syrian refugees into Europe of about 1 million. That's about 200 times smaller number of people. A two meter sea level rise is an existential threat to small island nations yeah. in the Pacific. It really is pretty grim. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't like being the arbiter of sort of bad news and bad news stories, but, but you know, two meters is, is not, a, not a good scenario. And uh, since your report came out, I've been thinking about these images from Climate Central, these images that came out a few years ago. It imagines a world where you have major cities like Shanghai completely submerged because of rising temperatures. Because of your research, is that scenario looking more like a possibility? I want to stress again that, that our, our analysis was a probabilistic one and, and, and we're looking at the, the a wide range of probabilities. So it's a low probability, but it could happen. And yes, uh, our, our study suggests that there is a real risk, a plausible risk of very substantial sea level rise coming from both ice sheets. So what's happening already today, sea levels are rising. The last four years were the hottest on record. There have yep. been extreme weather events sweeping the planet. Is climate change a race we can win? If we want to, if we're really committed, I think. Um, but the, the time window is getting shorter and shorter. And I, I think you know, most uh, lots of climate scientists say exactly the same thing. You know, we um, we have quite a narrow window of opportunity to avoid some of the worst consequences, such as very high sea level rise. And what we decide to do collectively as a species, politically, globally, over the next decade, is going to determine the future of the next generations in terms of the habitability of the planet and what sort of environment they live in. Yeah, well, you've sounded the alarm with this report. Whether the political will is there and will act on it, we shall wait and see. Professor Bamberth, thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.